if you're new here then hi i am born and welcome to my channel i forgot the clap hi guys welcome back to what makeup if you're new here then hi i am born and welcome to my channel today's video is in the line and the theme of festive season that i'm trying to keep up with but is also very very different because first things first i definitely sound different and it seems like you all might be guessing that my voice is sounding very very like close and my nose is throbbing my eyes might look watery because yes i am under the weather and i'm dealing with a very very bad bout of cold and cough and if you guys are wondering if it's covid i got myself tested and i tested negative so it's not covid it's not coronavirus thankfully but i'm just dealing with a seasonal allergy and with this time of the year when your festivities your plans with friends and family wedding celebrations and god knows what all is at its peak the change of season also brings with it the allergy the cough the cold the flu and i'm definitely dealing with a very bad one right now and i was thinking that how it might be so impossible for a lot of people to imagine doing their makeup during this time because your eyes are watery your nose is itchy and runny your face and your head is throbbing and even when you might be able to skip out on a lot of plans cancel plans with friends and family what if you really need to go to one what if you really need to attend that one wedding or that one dinner or that one like outing with friends and you don't want to cancel and even if you do go out can you skip doing your makeup i guess not so today's video is about five simple but five very smart tips that i'm going to show you and tell you guys about how you can do your makeup in the smartest way possible that is going to stay put that is not going to transfer and that's also not going to make you feel like you need to rush to the washroom and just take everything off this is the makeup that i'm wearing right now which is very very festive but also very very long wearing despite you being under the weather tip number 1 give your skin all the hydration that you can possibly give it while it is key to have healthy and plump skin and skin that is well moisturized before you do your makeup in your regular ways anyways but especially during this time when you're struggling with a cold and you have your skin which is so dry you're looking so unwell and with the constant like rubbing your nose and watering down your eyes it is really really important that you have a good boost of hydration on your face and on your skin before you apply your makeup otherwise it's going to look extremely bad and you will look even more sick i have my one of my favorite moisturizers with me which is from pack this is the extra This is a lightful moisture cream and this has such a nice like texture overall it is extremely extremely hydrating on the skin and what i like to do is i apply like a good dollop of this all over my face and it just really really plumps up my skin from within so even if i go with not a good hand of makeup or if i end up applying say too much concealer or whatsoever it is not going to look dry or caked up on my skin your skin is extra extra like flaky especially during this time and especially around the nose so make sure that you have moisturized your skin really well with whatever your favorite moisturizer is and basis your skin type if you have oily skin if you have combination skin just reach out for the moisturizer that works best for you in terms of giving it a good boost of hydration tip number 2 make sure that you've primed your skin really well and especially your nose area now i'm going to do this trick that i learned from koshil beauty and she's a youtuber on uh, youtube and i love her beauty videos i love her general content that she keeps posting and in many of her videos she talks about how she uses the all nighter setting spray by urban decay as a primer and i have used this as a trick multiple times when i wanted my makeup to really last through the day and oh my god like this works like so well it just makes my foundation my concealer like not move not budge and it's almost like i don't need a touch up and especially right now when this part of the face your t zone and your nose area is so aggravated you will be reaching out to touch and rub your nose maybe sneeze in all those times and touching your face like a gazillion times you need a primer that is going to really keep your foundation in place and grip it really well so it lasts longer as long as you want it to be so what i'm going to do is how she does it i'm just going to spray this 
of course on my entire face as a primer but I'm going to spray an extra couple of sprays on my nose area and I'm going to use my beauty blender like she does and press the product in my skin and on my nose area so that this is the part where your foundation and all the products that you will apply your concealer if you apply bronzer blush is going to break down the fastest at this area so you want this area to be primed the best way possible i think this setting spray i know it's not available in india but if any way that you are able to get your hands on this through any insta seller or anyone who might be going abroad soon just get this setting spray it really works extremely well as a face primer tip number three matte finishes in all your makeup products are going to be your best friends now while you go on applying whatever makeup you want to apply your base products your foundation concealer just make sure that everything is mostly in matte form not even satin matte and definitely not hydrating or dewy because it's going to transfer the most the minute you're going to touch your face or rub your nose or if you have a moment when you're sneezing and irrespective of how much ever you might try and resist not touching your face you will do that a gazillion times so i'm going to use this foundation that i have talked about before this is the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation this is one of my most favorite foundations when it comes to matte foundations because it does not feel matte it does not feel heavy and cakey in any way or form and it kind of lets my skin breathe but is also super super long lasting and if you are going to be out and about and you don't want your foundation to be touched up you don't want to reach out for your compact powder and all of that just try out this foundation from NYX. I really, really like it. I'm already starting to blend out my concealer. I'm using the NARS Longwear Radiant Concealer. It's a very nice concealer. A very good dupe of this one is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I will obviously link everything down below in the description box. But with this application comes my next tip, which is tip number four. And I think one of the most important tips to remember while doing your makeup during this time when you have a cold is that less is more especially right now when you are feeling like your skin is so so aggravated your nose is like itchy and you constantly are feeling like there's like a bit of like a furnace over your face the last thing you want to do is pile on tons and tons of makeup and make yourself feel uncomfortable and look like your makeup is not in a good place so just make sure that your skin is light and airy and breathable with less amount of makeup and whatever you apply to the point that you usually apply make sure that you just go in with a lighter hand and keep the amount to the least minimal amount possible and now finally coming to tip number five no matter how unwell and sick you might be feeling you want to take away from all of that and distract everyone with your eyes and by eyes i mean your lashes if you have watery very very itchy eyes which is very very possible during this time when you're having a cold the best thing that you can do is go in with minimal amount of makeup because you don't want to load your eyes with more makeup with eyeshadow and stuff like that i have just a little bit of cream eyeshadow that i've applied in some bronze color which kind of matches what i'm wearing and i'm going to go in with a waterproof kajal because of course even if you have watery eyes you don't want your kajal to start smudging so i'm going to apply this kajal from milani and the second thing to do is mascara when your lashes look curled up voluminous and thick your all makeup looks great and put on so i'm going to go in with my regular mascara first because i just want a little bit of that oomph with the curling factor that i get with this revlon sophia's mascara and i'm going to apply like a couple of coats on my lashes and i'm going to top it off with one of my favorite mascaras in waterproof version what you need is whatever mascara that you have but just get the waterproof version of it i'm using this one from maybelline this one is a new find for me it's the falsies lash lift mascara and this is in the waterproof version so i'm just going to apply a few coats of this one on my lashes because in case i sneeze or in case i have a runny nose or in case i just end up having my eyes watering even if i try and wipe my eyes my mascara is not going to transfer and that's a wrap to this video i just finished off with some bindi and some bangles to go on with my outfit and 
I'm all ready to go out irrespective of how I'm feeling under the weather because how many plans will you really cancel if you're not feeling well? You will definitely have to step out and you definitely need to put on some makeup. So I hope you guys do find this video helpful and useful not just for this time of the year but for any time of the year when you are feeling under the weather but you still have to do your makeup you have this video to go and reach out for if you enjoyed watching this video then make sure that you thumbs it up if you are new to my channel then make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my monday uploads i'm going to see you guys in my next one have a great week ahead stay safe take care bye